Well, if you have a freshly cut bob and often ask retail workers to speak to their manager, chances are <laughs> you are or have been at least at some stage labelled a Karen. But don't worry, our next guest has made it her mission to celebrate these special Australians launching the hunt for the best Karen haircut. And we are so pleased to say Renee Bunster joins us now in Perth. Renee, nice to see you. You're the brains behind this hot sauce empire. What's got you switching that for Karen's? Well, I created a range of ready-to-drink cocktails because I went down to the bottle shop and none of the cocktails were good enough. So just like I did with hot sauce, I realised I'm going to have to make my own here. And uh, it, was, it was through this complaining, you know, uh, improving things and complaining that I realised I was a bit of a Karen. So I created a oh. cocktail for <laughs> us Karens and it's called The Bloody Karen. It's basically mm. a Bloody Mary. But, uh, I, and then I just realised we should have some Karen pride. So yeah. I've declared this July 2022 Karen pride month. Well, much like hot sports, Karen's I like it. a bit of spice about it, isn't there? <laughs> uh, Karen's have a bad reputation, but as you're indicating, you're taking this back and your, your goal is to change that. Yes, I th we need some Karen pride. If Karen's didn't complain, nothing would get fixed, nothing would get better. If I didn't, if I just complained about hot sauce not being good enough, I would have never gone and invented something like this that is now an Australian icon mm. and uh, a massive seller in the USA. And this, this actually came about because people complained that my other hot sauces weren't hot enough. So I went and made this one. I listened to the complaints, made this, and now we've got this amazing Australian product. But now I'm yeah. doing the same thing in cocktails. One of these words don't really work on breakfast television at the moment. Which one? Tell the, us which one, Charles. The first one, Ali. Give us a lowdown, though. No, I'm not showing. Uh, and what specifically you're looking for, because there's this whole new competition you're running. Mm. Yes, I am running a competition to find Australia's best Karen haircut. Mm. If anyone still has hair like this, I want to hear from you. Now, it's, it's called an inverted bob. It's sort of long at the front, short at the back. It's like the anti-mullet. It's the mm. antidote to all of those mullets. It's normally two-toned, spiky mm. at the top, if you can manage that. <laughs> and I would just love it. If you've got a Karen haircut, I want to hear from you. I want to see a photo of it. Send me a picture of it. Well, you know that we thought we'd actually help you out here, right? And we asked our viewers if they had the best Karen haircut. Um, and here's... A, we've already been showing a few for the competition. Um, so here we go. This is um, Tari Innes, my beautiful auntie. Definitely not a Karen, but she does rock the do. That is pretty cool. That is like pretty dobbing cool. someone else as well. <laughs> Stephanie says, we dressed as Karens for a trivia event and they did well with the I'd like to speak to the manager shirt. <laughs> And one more, we got Tabitha. This says, this is my girlfriend, Lauren. So, look, we're, we're, we're celebrating all the yeah. Karens today. We like it. Look, we couldn't let you go. So, your hot sauce, I've... Um, the, the one that you said is the best seller, the... Um, Let's say poo the bed. Poo the bed. Um, <laughs> just still gross. <laughs> um, Charles has offered to take a... Yeah. ..big swig. Can I use my finger? Yes. <laughs> It's going to spill everywhere. How hot is it, by the way? Should he do... Go again. Go again. It's pretty hot. Yeah, it's quite hot. It, it's pretty hot. A <laughs> teaspoon will probably shut him up for a few hours. Well, I've had that. That's <laughs> oh, a big one. Wow. He's uh, had a couple. You all right? You're OK, yeah. Yeah, you're good. Lucky it's the end of the show. We'll push on through. Um, this is great, Renee. Well, we love what you're doing here, that you're celebrating Karen's, and you can, of course, check out all of your hot sauce range and more at bunstersworldwide.com.au. We're not going anywhere because I feel that hot sauce, it just takes, it just a, takes while, a while to get in. Yeah. And I feel we're just getting yeah. to the good bit. Gee, the bloody Karen's are going to be good too, aren't they? Uh, straight ahead on the program, lockdowns and border closures <laughs> to return if Australia records a case of foot and mouth. You get anything in your mouth at the moment. The latest on the situation at home coming up shortly. Plus, Billie Eilish fans have been treated this Friday to two new songs. Brooke has your first taste and all the entertainment news ahead. And I think it's just hit him. Yeah. And it's hit him good. It's good, isn't it? It's good. <laughs> Have a bit more, why not? I just, I mean, keep going. Yeah, you're tough. Go.